Hello and welcome back to Terror Hand, a prospering kingdom in, well, the game world of Nomoria, I should say. And, uh, well, it's night time, it is dark out there, and uh, there is terror lurking outside of the forts. Oh, well, there could be. We don't know, because we can't see it. Now, um, well, you might be wondering, okay, so now what, uh, damage? Well, there is lots of stuff that I did off screen. In fact, <laughs> there is a crap load of it. <laughs> I've actually been playing the game for an hour or so already, and, uh, well... No, nothing has happened in terms of time advancement, but um, let's take a look at what I did, right? So, if we go down over here, well, not much has changed here, you know, but a look over here. First thing you'll see, a new room that needs to be dug out. Because, well, someone brought to my attention that we need, like, more coal, because... Really cool at the moment is like bottlenecking our um, metal production really. We only got like one wood smelter and um, pretty much everything that we got down here. You know like uh, smelting, forging, crafting and <laughs> well you name it. It all needs coal. I think that for like one shield you need like uh, for all the bars you need one coal so that's five coal. Then you need to craft the two separate parts, which is like another two coal, and then the shield itself, and that's another coal. So yeah, that's like seven coal for one shield. And uh, right now, currently, we only got this, well, you know, tiny little wood smelting facility over here. So I thought we could do with another one, and because we got quite a bit of room over here, if two wood smelters is not enough, I can always just tag on another two, if uh, need be. But yeah, I think two would be a welcome addition. Now, I also set up a um, dirt cleanup over here, because, well, damn, there's a lot. And um, I know there's, like, new this new job type, you know, the clean floor, but I don't really like it yet, because it just puts dirt at places where I don't want it. <laughs> now, the reason is, of course, that I don't have a place where I can put the dirt, so, but, let's take a look, if we go down here, ta-da, <laughs> I mean, the whole screen turns yellow, and that's because these will be two big stockpiles for digging materials, you know, like, uh, dirt for example and stone and whatever else we find really that well you know we have unmasked and for now I think that the majority will be marble dirt but um, yeah I thought we could use uh, two big ass stockpiles and these will be like central stockpiles <laughs> and they are massive <laughs> I mean if uh, I think you know that well it's better to build them once proper than have to build each at a time a new small stockpile so yeah well, that's what will be down here and um that's not all look if we go down over here bam <laughs> wow look at this <laughs> man just looking at it from a zoomed out view it looks impressive now doesn't it and um this ladies and gentlemen will be our underground compound and you might be thinking like what <laughs> underground compound but you haven't fin even finished the you know the upground or the above ground one well true but um, never hurts to dig it out I mean the one above ground needs to be built up and that's quite tedious but this is quite simple because once it's dug out it's all finished now I'll quickly run you through with what's going to be where over here we'll have like a small dining room um, with like uh, two wings of four personal quarters because uh, down here um, we won't have a massive military and uh, there will be two squads at max so it's really like a 10 gnome compound here and then we'll have like a little supply room where we can have stuff like food and bandages and drinks and whatever else um, we'll also have like a med bay over here which is this section and um, we'll have the training grounds, you know, that's will be over here. Now, obviously this is going to be dug out as well, but it was really just for reference, you know. So I know where the two training, uh, training areas are going to be. And over here will be the stairs down. The only stairs down from this, uh, this Z level or depth level. 
And then over here, we have like um, room for stuff that we dig away in the ground. So we can store like um, ores and gems and well, ore and gems <laughs> and uh, ore and gems. <laughs> yeah, and maybe loot. I don't know. I think that the uh, enemies that spawn on the ground come with gear too. So that's why I just put this little room in here. Just uh, in case they do. I'm not really sure though. I never faced underground enemies. So. Well, that's the underground compound. I'm quite proud of it. I think just the design, you know, and nothing's dug away for now. It looks pretty slick already. Now, obviously, we have a small problem over here where the <laughs> mother load of copper used to be. Because, yeah, you know, it's kind of like um, breaching the design quite a bit. But I'll fill these walls up, you know. I just um, put these replaced floor jobs here so I know where the rooms will be. So, yeah, that's that. What do you think of it? I think it looks amazing, really. And, um, well, it's rather big. <laughs> we, but, well, we only got one Z-level for it, so... We can't stack these rooms on top. Well, I could, but... I think it's cool if we keep it all on one level. It makes it, um, you know, really nice and easy to oversee. So, that's that. Now, um... For the rest, really, what I also want is... Gut damn bronze gear <laughs> i mean i have wanted it for like a few episodes now and uh, so far we haven't got any yet <laughs> still so um let's take a look at how many of these buzz we have all right because um wow we got 65 copper bars how many more do you need to smelt cyber come on is there ever an end to it oh you're actually getting very close and that's pretty good so, yeah, we will probably see some uh, copper bar action. Or a bronze bar action today. At least, I hope. Um, yeah, I'm not all that sure about it, but that is the goal for today. Now, another thing that, well, I pretty much ended on in the last video was over here with the dining room. And um, I have an idea for it. So... Yeah, we'll work on that as well, but there are a few things I want to check. Uh, for one, because we're gonna need lots and lots and lots of coal. Because, well, also for bronze bars, you need, like, uh, extra coal and... Well, I'm just curious how our reserve of pine logs is doing, really. So we need to check up on that, too. I know we had quite a bit, but... Yeah, see, it is dwindling down. But I think that this is enough for us to last us through winter. At least, I hope. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really sure. We might actually need to expand the terror world a bit, maybe. Yeah, I don't think that's such a bad idea, though. Ah, well, we'll have to see how that turns out. Um, then there's over here, these workshops. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll build those. Now... Uh, someone also said that it would be wise to not start um, gem production yet because it will skyrocket up the uh, kingdom's worth. And um, well, if we take a look over here, it is nearing 15k. And I think that's actually a pretty good suggestion because, um, well, <laughs> you know, since that bronze gear is taking ages for to get to a military because of the crap load of copper that we got. Um, I'll actually hold off with the whole gem production stuff uh, till we have some proper bronze gear. But we can build these um, workshops for uh, the mechanism stuff, you know, the Tinkerbell thing. So we'll have those. And let's replace a few of these stone floors so it looks all nice and dirt. <laughs> oh man, dirty workshops. Um, like this. Ah, you know what? <laughs> because I'm feeling like it today, we'll also do the walls. <laughs> Why not? Uh, actually, I mean, it's just more work. And already our gnomes are burdened to the seams with jobs. So we'll just leave it to the floors for now. But, um, well, and they're going to have their work cut out for them. Wow, and look at it. Wow, do you see this? This is all wheelbarrow madness, what you're seeing here right now. Because they used to be dirt everywhere, and then they just run through it over here with the wheelbarrow, and bam, <laughs> nothing's left. Oh, and then Factum's getting down here now, and uh, wow. 
Wheelbarrow Madness. Now you might be wondering like, yeah, look at that. Did you saw that? <laughs> he just look, grabbed everything like a vacuum cleaner, really. So, all right. Yeah, this is going pretty fast here. Um, in fact, I think we can make this a dirt stockpile. Uh, yeah, we can have that. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Whoa, that's actually quite a bit of clay. Ah, well. Regardless, um, so, yeah, there are a few things. And uh, another thing, because right now, you know, it is winter. And uh, man, is it cold. <laughs> so cold that the rain's not freezing. And um, another thing is that this is going to be like a first test to see how uh, our, well, you know, our straw planning is coming out really because um, well previous winter we didn't have to feed our animals and now we do have to do so I'm pretty curious to see whether or not this well this stock of straw that we got uh, will be enough to last us through winter and the first harvest because well you know once winter is over <laughs> that doesn't mean that we automatically get straw everywhere so because uh, we are gonna have to wait for like the first harvest so that's another thing I'm pretty curious about, and um, if we still got like loads left after the first harvest, we uh, can think about expanding our animals uh, a little bit, and I'm thinking of expanding our alpacas. Because honestly, I mean, these yaks, they're nice, but, um, well, <laughs> they don't do a whole lot, <laughs> and these lovely kushi animals, they give wool, and I like wool, so, yeah, that's uh, another thing. Um, for the rest though, yeah, over here, dining room, thing is that um, we have got quite a bit of jobs, you know, that need to be done down here at the moment, so we'll hold off of the dining room for a bit, but we can start building the workshops, um, and we will in fact, because, well, you know, another smelter, wood smelter, um, I don't think uh, we can wait much longer with that, so... You know what, um, can we have like birch bellows or applewood bellows? I don't think we have, but I, I'm kind of like, you know, at first I made everything out of pine, but since we're using that for coal and we need like boatloads of it, I'm really hesitant to build it all out of pine, so... Oh well. We'll make it out of pine regardless. Screw it! <laughs> um, yeah, so... We'll put the thingy... No, this is actually not... I need a furnace. Crap, what am I doing? <laughs> um, yeah, so... Well, I was really like <laughs> smelting wood, you know, so smelter. But we need the furnace, of course. Marble furnace, pine bellows. Yeah. Also, we can put like a uh, stockpile for logs down here. And that's going to be like only a pine log stockpile. So... Yeah, over there. Um, how about smeltable logs? Smeltable logs. Log pile. Good. And only pine logs. So, pine logs, yes. Those ones, you know? <laughs> the ones from pine. Wow, <laughs> and immediately it turns green. <laughs> wow. Alright. So, and that's filled up. Wow, these wheelbarrows, man, they really are amazing. Damn! Now, down here, wow. Okay, so, in fact, um, oh my god, <laughs> look at this. He pretty much dug out everything already. Ah, <gasps> uh, no, <laughs> wait, <laughs> that's over-exaggerating it, but damn, man, he did dug out quite a bit. And it seems that we got, oh, what do we have here? Coal. We got coal. And we found we've actually found coal. Alright. Interesting. I didn't even knew you could find coal. Well, I guess that makes sense. I mean <laughs> you know, in the real life there's also a crap load of it underground, so I guess it makes sense and all, but <laughs> well, I didn't expect it to be honest. Um cool, cool, cool. And look at this, you know, torches, and they're getting built down here. 
Nice. Alright. So, we'll uh, issue a few more uh, replace uh, stuff orders here. Because we could use them. And, um, well, you know, I think we will also speed up time a bit so that we can really make some progress with everything. But damn, man, look at this. These are all statues. So when the merchant comes, I'll have a crap load of stuff <laughs> for him, really. So that's good. I like this. Yeah, it was a good plan to build out these, um, you know, to dig out these stockpile rooms. So, yeah. yeah. And another thing that we need to do, look, right here, it doesn't look like anything like an underground compound. So we really need to fix up the walls and stuff here as well. So, yeah, I'll get to that um, too. But um, we'll do that when we speed up time. I'll put a big badass dirt pile down here because I think right now we still got like quite a reasonably big marble stockpile up here but this is like big bad and dirty right. <laughs> dirty all right well just leave it as a prior five so they won't over prioritize it over other important stuff in fact I want this to be like the no <laughs> the last thing they'll do so I'll put it at eight or something right, one, seven yeah so when there's no more hauling to do, only then will they start putting everything down here. Now, I believe that... Where is the whole marble thing? I believe... I thought I had like a very big stockpile for it. Oh, well that's... Only over here though, and that... Yeah, wait, what? Marble. Why do I... Oh, that's dirt actually. Crap. Yeah, so, um, we'll put, like, uh, well, I'm not gonna make this a complete marble stockpile, but we'll just make, like, a third or something for marble. Like this. Yeah. Uh, so, marbles. Um... We'll also put this at like prior seven, just like the dirt pile. And um good. Raw stone, marble. Well, that's the only thing we got. So this should keep our gnomes busy for quite a while now. Seems all nice and dandy. Um so yeah, um fixing the broken walls here. And uh, I think that this is the perfect moment to speed up time some. So that's what we will do. Oh, look at this. This is not good. We got ourselves some green skins. I think they've heard about our underground compound and, um, well, you know, the lovely amount of coal and other goodies that we found down here. Wait, what? Gems! Yeah, that's what they're coming for. They're coming to steal our blue precious and they won't get any. So, goblins, how you doing, huh? Seems that you lost your gear on the way, or you never came with one. Yeah, <laughs> just a <an> regular goblin. <laughs> wow, so impressive. Oh man, <laughs> I'm squandering in fear. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> if you would have a gun, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you're probably <laughs> pointing the wrong end towards us. <laughs> you're so bad at it. <laughs> so, and over here, you're also a regular goblin. Got nothing. But, whoa! <laughs> Oh, hold on a second. You're actually somewhat uh, competent in fighting. <laughs> Just going by the numbers, though. Maybe it is because you're a bit... Well, you know, you give a, you're a bit brighter. Maybe you give some light. <laughs> Piccolo Goblin. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, yeah, you're basically a regular fighter with an axe and you're like yeah alright so you're the most dangerous one now then I also know that um, Sir Hero Knight wanted a few kills and last time he was sleeping but look who is standing right up front over here the man himself the legend with only 
three kills. <laughs> so, let's see if you can snatch some kills this time now, uh, shall we? Oh, wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're certainly not leaving anything to chance. <laughs> Man, <laughs> you're like head rushing along here. You might want to whistle your buddies over here too, you know, like uh, the general, for example, <laughs> or resurrected, maybe. <laughs> oh, there they come. Wait, what? Do you see this? <laughs> I mean, th you know, these gnomes, they haven't even been on into the action. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow, Sirio and I, you were out there for revenge. <laughs> Let's take a look at this combat because I think it, this is all you. Yeah, Sir Hero Knight versus the Goblin. <laughs> well, Sir Hero Knight punches the Goblin, but the Goblin dodges the attack. And the Goblin retaliates and you dodge the attack. Alright, so you kick the Goblin on his arm, breaking it pretty much. Then you bite his left leg. Uh, wow, <laughs> till til till the bone. All right, so goblin falls to the ground, but we know that that doesn't have any effect. So basically, goblin's lying on the ground, and you are sitting on him, punching him on the lungs, you know, on his rib cage, biting his upper body as well, and then kicking the goblin on his throat while he's lying down. Ouch, <laughs> and he's dead. So it took you about six moves <laughs> to kill this goblin. <laughs> That's uh, pretty neat. <laughs> pretty awesome, I'd say. So let's see how the rest of the goblins will fare then. Well, <laughs> that's quick. <laughs> I mean, certainly that's really quick. So, and it wasn't even sped up. That was just a regular time. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see. Uh, oh crap, I need the events. Let's take a look at that combat, all right? Combat, I meant. Yeah, how did this group fight go? Ooh, so right after you killed, the other goblins pretty much went into a berserker rage and they floored you. But look who's over there to save your ass. <laughs> it's Adrian. <laughs> Probably wanting a kill. Uh, well, it does come to your rescue as he also floors the goblin. So that's good. Alright, resurrected in there. And Professor Pokemon as well, getting some first action over here. Alright, <laughs> let's see if he actually can get a kill. Oh, no, 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 no. He's actually like a meat shield, <laughs> it seems. <laughs> yeah. He could do it uh, with some bronze armor, it seems. Anyway, let's see. Who got the kills? Yeah, General Barnabas coming in with his sword. Cutting it up to pieces. Good, good. Now then. Sir Hero Knight, you got another kill. And um, <laughs> that was by a lead ninja kick. Just kicking his heart in, really. <laughs> Through the ribcage. Wow. There must be quite some force behind that. It's a shame that it doesn't show like which goblin you killed, but... Um, I assume it's the fighter one, you know? The one with the weapons. And who got this kill? Yeah, so Resurrected really gave the final blow. You know, <laughs> getting hit by a hammer uh, on the throat and the neck. Yeah, that oughta hurt. <laughs> that oughta kill you normally. <laughs> that would do you in. So, yeah. Alright, well, uh, so here at night, I think right now that you got pretty much... Um, you, you got some kills back now, so... Uh, look at that, five kills. Pretty good, I'd say. Now then, because we got corpses, we got loot, we can uh, activate the graveyard. So we can drag this stuff inside and, um, well, you know, another victory for Terror Hand. <laughs> Cupcakes for everybody. <laughs> Though if we continue to be like this, I mean, we'll have a fat military for all the celebrative cupcakes uh, <laughs> that we're, uh, you know, having. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, that's pretty good stuff. Only one goblin to haul in and done. Good. Look at that. I mean, they're not even here anymore. We're processing these goblins. Oh, man. That's <laughs> processing goblins. It sounds so wrong. So industrial. No, but we're, you know, processing them so quick that already the graveyard's empty. That's uh, amazing. Good. Well then, in that case, how's it going, like, uh, down over here? Wow. 
Okay. Well, in any case, I fixed up the walls as you can see, and um, you can really see, you know, what the ID behind it all is now. Because this will be like the entrance to the compound, and then over here will be the entrance underground, and it will really be a true compound. I think it looks quite slick. Now, I am going to dig away all this coal, obviously, but I'll first let them dig away all the other stuff, and then I'll start doing this coal. Because, um, well, as you can see, they got quite a bit of work over here. And it's a good thing that, you know, I, the builder, <laughs> do some, well, <laughs> mining. <laughs> you know, get my hands dirty. Get to know the kingdom, really. Because, <laughs> well, <laughs> I've built and dig it away myself. Well, I guess in the underground, you know, mining is a form of building. Building rooms, you know, so, yeah... Yeah, me doing the mining. Well, it sure doesn't go fast. I've been wailing away at this block for like a minute now. And, well, I still... Oh, wow. Nice, nice. Alright, anyway. um, Yeah, so down here we got... Yeah, we need to fix up uh, these walls here. And then we'll build the, uh, the tinker stuff here. You know, the workshops, the tinker bench, or whatever it was called. So we can have smart inventions. Oh man, I'm curious to see what those will be. And um, they'll probably be pretty clever, I can imagine. As clever as the Emperor. Alright. Yeah, see, it's the, just the mining, really. It isn't really the, the building that takes really long or anything. It's just the mining that takes up a lot of our gnome resources. Luckily we got quite a lot of gnomes now. Oh, well, probably not a lot. There's probably like massive kingdom out there with like a hundred gnomes. <laughs> or, I don't know, maybe even more. But, you know, for Tower Hand, uh, we're, we're growing big now. At least I feel like we're growing big. Good. So, workshops. Um, you know what, we'll just build all three of them. I don't really know what we need to build them, but... We'll start with like the tinker bench, right? So, okay, so we need like a workbench. I'm gonna make that out of birch because we got so many of it. And same for the chair and a wrench. Wrench. Ah, yeah, that's a tool. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was bad. Um, so, yeah, about that actually. Let's queue up a wrench. So, blacksmith. Um, I don't want you to accept generated jobs. I want to be in full control of what we make and what it's made of. And tell me something. Why can't I build a wrench over here? Is it like, I don't know, something else? I need to be at the armor right then, or the weaponsmith. That seems highly unlikely. No. And the armorer maybe? You got, no, you don't have a wrench in there. Is it like a carpenter thing then? No, that can't be right. <laughs> I mean, a wrench <laughs> that's made from metal, right? Yeah, see, it's not here. Oh, uh, wait, it's not alphabetical. Hmm, crap. Uh, so, I don't see it over here. Maybe it's at the marble thingy, you know, the stone chiseler or whatever, stonemason. Yeah, it does have knives in there as Wait, what? So there's no... Hold on a second, how on the freaking earth do I make wrenches? Crap, I'm missing something here. I think that... Oh, um, maybe we need to get these other workshops uh, out there first, you know, like machine shop. Oh, crap, is that going to mean that we're gonna have a fight now? Let's just slow this down a bit. I don't want... No, 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 no. I don't want to fight that bear. Um, enemies. Bear. I don't want you to fight that bear. Crap. Yeah, but they're going to. That's not good. Maybe we should put, like, um, the stern wanderers to... A bit less aggressive mode. I am... Uh, uh, let's take a look here. Terror Vanguard. Perform attack orders. Yes, that's good. Squaddies. Um, I don't know. Uh, dudes, <laughs> don't attack. 
Um, there is a way for me to tell them to not attack that bear. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't. Crap. Oh well. You know, we just butchered some goblins, so maybe it is safe for us. Yeah, see, and look who's here. Adrian is still guarding the gates. So I guess we're good. And they're even going back already. You see, we can't be bothered by the bear. Oh, come on now, really. So you can't pass the bridge because there's a bear lurking around there. Really? <laughs> is that it now? Crap. That's not good. <laughs> Bad bear. Yeah, well, I guess there's not much we can do about it then. Go forth and kill that bear, if that makes you feel better. Really? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, actually, that's not good. Because, um, well, you know, you're like miles away from bandages. Balls. And he's pretty lethal, actually. Huh. Adrian, you better be knowing what you're doing. Wait, what? <laughs> you got over a hundred skill? Ah, I guess that's possible, of course, but... Okay, then. So, wow. <laughs> you are <laughs> even more lethal than I thought. And you, Sir Hero Knight? Yeah, you also got over a hundred skill. Damn it, though. It's a bit... I don't want them to attack the bear, but according to this thing, they're not attacking it. Though they're certainly attacking the bear, I just don't want them to. It's a bit... Meh. You know, I feel like I don't have control. Um... Oh well. So, we'll have to see how this goes then. Um, I'm not having the best view over the combat over here. Yeah, see? The... Wow, oh my god. <laughs> See, I told you. Don't attack the bear. And look what you're doing right now. Bear is dangerous. See? Crap, this is not going well. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I mean, Adrian, I didn't know that you had so much blood in you. But we need to stop them from doing this. So, Stern Wanderers. Uh, I want to... Yeah. I want you to do that, but I don't want you to attack just any enemy you see. Come on. How hard can it be? Maybe if I click on the bear. I don't want you to attack. Why are you doing it? Oh, but the bear is also bleeding. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, let's actually take a look at how the combat went, alright? It's a bit... It still buggers me a bit that they're attacking the bear just because they saw it. It's not how it's supposed to be. But, um, yeah. Combat. So, let's see. Who is doing what over here? Um, yeah, there's actually a lot of... Well, combat things happening. Combat instances. See? Since that they're moving around here and then they kind of like disengaged from each other it seems so. Alright. The bear falls to the ground. Adrian Havasim gets up. And an artery has been struck. Wow. Alright, also an artery has been struck, though they do seem to be getting off quite a few uh, moves before they get hurt, so... Yeah, right arm's bleeding. General didn't got to do a whole lot, though. Alright, let's see how the combat develops, then. Well, <laughs> that's it for the combat, it seems. Yeah, because everybody's, like, retreating right now because they're bleeding. Damn it. It's not good. Come on, guys. Stop it now. Look at this. <laughs> oh, man. It looks like a proper battlefield. The bad thing is, it's all our own blood, though. Oh, man. That's so not good. Oh, and of course, right now, because they're going to see the bear, they're going to do it again now, aren't they? Oh, no. They aren't. Very good. Oh, really? Yeah, here they go again now. Stop it, really. 
If somebody can tell me how I can put them to dis and you know to not attack everything on sight, um, it would be really nice. But well, I think you know this can't be the real thing. You know, and the tower fan guy has exactly the same AV. It's not like uh, attempt to avoid combat. Yeah, that sounds good. Do that. Don't attack. Avoid combat, uh, dude. <laughs> Sir Hero Knight, <laughs> you are uh, to avoid combat. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> so you're really close up there with each other. Come on, gnomes. Really avoiding combat and you charge at the bear. <laughs> so that's what you, how you interpret avoid combat, really. Well, that's certainly not my interpretation for avoiding combat. And it seems that the bear isn't really bothered all that much by it. It is bleeding. Oh, <laughs> serious injured eye and injured everything. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Maybe the general can give like the killing blow. That would be quite nice actually. So we can get some revenge for Mercula Minor. Yeah, look at that. And the bear is dead. All right. Anyway, uh, military. And this is not good. This is going to be um, some harsh, uh, <laughs> I don't know, push-ups and, uh, you know, run around for punishment because you're not listening. Damn it. I mean, this could have ended really poorly. Though, well, of course, I have every bit of confidence in uh, our military, but um, yeah, it could have... Wait, what? <laughs> really? Um, General Barnabas, man. That's not really where you're supposed to sleep. I hope that, uh, you know, you don't get ambushed by goblins now. Um, anyway, um, so that has happened. We have um, killed the bear. We've taken revenge for Mercida. And look over here, man. Compound is really getting dug out here. And it goes a lot faster <laughs> than the one above ground. So that's really good. Now, another thing I want to know is how on the freaking earth is our bar production it seems actually that well if I didn't know any better really I'd say that I have all the bars I smelted wow how freaking amazing all right so do we have any bronze bars then yeah let's let's take a let's take a look at our stocks you know what do we got right now that everything's finished Damn, Cyber, that's pretty good, man. Wait, there's no bronze bars? Okay, I guess so. Um, so, Cyber, are you going to... No, you're sleeping, right? Yeah, you're sleeping. Alright, so we still... I think we still should get one tin bar. But since I can't find any reason why we would keep tin... I mean, well, what good is tin, really, right? So, we'll put the, um, my, oh, this is, of course, from slivers and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so anyway, um, yeah, we'll put this on repeat as well, you know? The bar crafting, yeah. Repeat. And that's gonna net us 22 bronze bars, uh, 24 bronze bars. Let's take a look at what we would be able to do with that. Uh, we could... Because, well, I want like a hammer. Which, uh, of course, it's all in parts. So we need like five bars for that. A shield, I think, also is five bars. So that's ten already. And then we would have somebody at least armed. Now, over here the armor, right? Oh crap, so that's like six bars for a helm and eight bars for... Wow, that's actually quite a lot. Um, I don't think we can even... Because this is like 14 and... Yeah, no, we could we could equip someone with like a helmet and a breastplate, which I think are like the things you need the most. Sure, it's all nice to have pauldrons and whatever else, but I think the helmet and the breastplate are the things that count. Obviously, we will need the rest too. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna equip one gnome with like um, a helmet, a breastplate, a hammer, and a shield. All bronze quality gear. Ha uh ha. -huh. So yeah. 
pretty damn sweet. Can't wait to see that happen. In fact, um, well, Cyber's still sleeping, but we're gonna set up the orders for it. Oh no, actually, <laughs> it gets done here regardless. So, I need a. Oh, of course, we need to wait for the bronze bars. Balls. Also, um, could you please go inside? <laughs> I mean, right now, it's Professor Pokemon out here on his own. And, well, you know, I have every bit of confidence in Professor Pokemon. But um, <laughs> his skills show otherwise. So, yeah. If the goblins would gang up on us now, <laughs> we'd be having a small problem. Actually, oh, no, never mind. Look who's there. Alright, I have every bit of confidence that if the goblins come now, we would kill them mercilessly. Or whatever. <laughs> so, um, good stuff anyway. We finally get some bronze coming in. That's good. And, um, yeah, we'll put down the workshops over here. And then, I think we have done quite a bit. Um, let's see here. I think we need, like, a machine shop first to get that wrench, I think. I have a suspicion it works like that. A cutting wheel. Crap, why do we need it? What's that? A cutting wheel. Can we make that over here? No. Oh, we can. Alright, so we'll make that out of copper, obviously, because we got a crap load of it. So, I'll craft one of those. Um, for the rest of... Oh, look, and this is a smart move, actually. Obviously, this one, we're not going to remove it. I mean... But having two of those is really a good thing, it seems, yeah. Anyway, um, so we need like that wheel. And what do we need for the other, uh, the other workshop? Uh, let's see. Mechanism engineer shop, huh? Oh, we also need a wrench for that. Okay, so I guess we just need the machine shop first. And then we can build the rest of the stuff. It seems... Uh, that we have to do it in that particular order. Didn't really know that, but oh well, I do now. So, uh, a birch copper cutting wheel. It's done already. Okay, interesting. Um, put that over there. Yes. Should get bid pretty soon as well. Also, do you see what I'm seeing over here? We're getting a lot of these torches. They're all getting built now. In fact, <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd say that a carpenter has is done with all the um, torches. Yeah, look. Oh, wow. This, this second carpenter over here is really speeding up production, man. Things go at lightning pace in Terror Hand. And on that bombshell, I say uh, join me next time when we will... Um, Finally, hopefully, get to see some proper bronze gear for our gnomes. Man, I can't wait for that. And I'm pretty sure you can't as well. So, uh, yeah, join me then.